it's easy to rearrange the formula for conditional probability and we may be interested for example in the probability of the intersection of two events okay, so if we know the probability of E let's say and the probability of F given E then we can calculate the probability of the intersection just by multiplying those two probabilities together okay, and this is can be very helpful in finding probabilities. Okay, so for example, we have an experiment consisting of drawing two cards uh, from a standard deck. And we want to find the probability that both of these cards are kings. Okay, so we'll let A be the event, the first card is a king. Let B be the event, second card is a king. The probability of A, probability of drawing a king out of a deck of 52 cards, since there are four kings in the deck, 52 cards, probability is four out of 52. Now, once we've drawn that first king, then there are only three kings left in the deck to draw. And so the probability of drawing the second card as a king, provided that we know the first card is a king, is three out of 51. I think that's clear. And you should be certain to see that this is a conditional probability. This is not the probability of B. This is the probability of B given A. Okay? If we know that the first card is a king, then there are only three kings left in the deck. That's where this three comes from. And there are only 51 cards left to pick from. And so that's where we come up with this uh, conditional probability. And now it's easy to find the probability of the intersection. All we have to do is multiply these two together, and the answer is 1 out of 221.